They're calling it International Women's Day Plus One, a public presentation of the monthly infographs on gender-based violence response, art and video competition awards, a photo exhibition of gender activists, and the launch of the National Gender-Based Violence Barometer. The message is focused on the domestication of ideals and policies protecting women from gender-based violence. Men and boys who commit violence against women and girls are just simply not men. They're weak, it's shameful, they are, sadly, the textbook definition of a cat. My hope for 2021 is that we will see a translation into action in terms of genuine reforms that will create affirmative access for women to more positions of power in Nigeria. With the launch of the gender-based violence barometer, clicking the link gbvinfo.ng will give Nigerians access to locations and contact details of offenders. This is crucial considering the figures. One in four girls in Nigeria has been or will be abused before the age of 18. Meanwhile, a whopping 10,000 girls are abused daily in Nigeria. Despite these figures, there are only 17 sexual assault referral centers in Nigeria. Three ministerial areas of focus. To ensure women's issues are addressed properly, we require that women hold political positions. To, to fix and change the narrative is amending our party constitution. We must have women in the National Working Committee because that is the starting point. Until we have women there, getting them to participate as candidates would be a mirage. Yes. All right. Because it's not that women were not voted for, women were denied being candidates. They waved them off during the primaries. For many years, when we talk about the fights against gender-based violence in Nigeria, the focus has always been on magnifying the voices against this pandemic. Now it's time to move the conversation from talk to actual action. And the launch of this gender-based violence barometer is a step in the right direction. That way these predators against women can be located in particular communities and those communities can be made safe from these predators. From the Banquet Hall of State House in Abuja, Kayla Megwa, Channels Television News.